welcome back guys and tonight I've got my review of the Debolier nine and a half inch French style skillet is this three pound monster really worth the extra money over a cheap carbon steel skillet let's find out all right so here is a skillet the Debolier nine and a half inch French style skillet I use it for eggs at first and I absolutely hated the skillet even to this day it not, it's not good with me as far as frying eggs. I got good at one point with it, but this was never my intent to use this as my egg skillet. I have a separate Winco carbon steel pan for that. That's way better at it than this thing is, and quicker. Um, I cook in it a lot of steaks, hamburgers, which I hate, so I give them to people. And it is phenomenal for that. Uh, the season it held up just fine. I actually did, did a uh, touch-up season tonight, of course. But whenever you cook with red meat, it will darken much quicker. And this season has held up very well. Um, so with that said, that's kind of my time with it. I've had it for, I believe, about two months now. And uh, there for the first couple weeks, I really didn't use it. I was busy with other things. But honestly, this is a really great pan. I will definitely buy it again. So with this said, let's get on to the test. All right, guys. See, I've got my skillet one warmed up for the egg test. I'm gonna put the butter in, see it melt. And uh, we've got the, the eggs, the butter melted in there. Uh, this is not my egg pan ever. I was good at making eggs in it at one time. When I first bought it, I use it for searing everything. I have an actual egg pan for that. So if or when this egg actually sticks, um, I'm hoping it doesn't stick. But if it sticks, I'm not gonna be surprised. Um, it is purely gonna be technic on me because I've actually seen people use unseasoned carbon steel skillets and, and it doesn't stick. Does it stick? Oh, it's... Trying to let go, but not quiet. We'll let it cook a little more, see if it's still stuck a little bit. With the with my Winco pan I have, which I use for my eggs, this is two and a half millimeters instead of a two, which I actually measured that one at one and a half millimeters. I actually measured it one day. And it just cooks eggs way better. It's just a small skillet as all. There we go. It released. It released. If I flip that, it's gonna stick. So, uh, let's go ahead and flip it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and flip this egg one-handed and I'm gonna absolutely annihilate this flip. All right, so, we'll let that sit up for just a minute. With this pan, I don't know, it seems like there's just a hot spot right there in the middle. Um, I've tried cooking on higher heat and it's worse. Cook on lower heat and it seems to work better on a super low heat. Like just, it would be low equivalent. Um, but it's still working for making eggs. Okay, shaking it. And you notice right there in the middle is where it's stuck. We're gonna give it a minute to see if it comes loose. And if, if you ever, like I said, if you watched my uh, my Winko review, you would know that the the egg test was already done because it never stuck at all. But again, this is just me. There we go. Yeah. So as to be expected, it was a fail. All right, guys, so here is the final test. We have a uh, flank steak, flank or skirt, one of the two. I'll, I'll, I'll remember which one it is and I'll put it up. I've never bought this cut of steak before. I've been heating it. It's on probably medium high heat. Uh, we're gonna sear it off. It's thin steak, so I eat my steaks rare. Um, so with that said, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put the butter in, put the steak in. We'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, so here we go. Put a lid on that. 
Back when it's time to quit. All right, guys. It's time to quit. It. Not a bit of sticking. All right, guys. So, six should be done. It stuck just a little bit right on that stainless steel rivet. Yeah, rivet. But that's to be expected, of course, because that's not seasoned. With that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the pan. Beautiful. Like I said, nothing stuck at all. So, with that said, guys, that is going to be my review of the Debolier 9.5 inch French style skillet. Got any questions for me? Put it on the comments. Anything you want to review or try? Put it in the comments. With that said, thank you guys for watching. Have a great night.